Eddie McGuire has once again in hot water after mocking double amputee Cynthia Bannum's coin toss before the Sydney Swans took on Adelaide last night at the SCG. Bannum is a former Sydney Morning Herald journalist who had both legs amputated after a 2007 plane crash in Indonesia. Chosen by the Swans to flip the coin at their opening home game, Bannum appeared to struggle for a moment before she tossed the coin while holding her walking stick. I think we should introduce a $5,000 fine to anybody who's tossing the coin and can't do it properly, said a clearly oblivious McGuire. Every week, we have someone dropping it on their foot. Come on, toss it up properly, for goodness sake. Practice in the week, you know you're going to do it. It can't be that hard can it, guys? The Swans issued a statement early Saturday morning saying they were incredibly disappointed by Maguire's inappropriate comments. The comments show not only a lack of empathy, but also ignorance. The club said in the statement, Cynthia Banham is a passionate Sydney Swans member, our number one ticket holder, and a courageous woman who is an inspiration to all of us at the club. We are extremely proud that Cynthia was there to toss the coin for our first home game at the SCG this season. Regardless of who is invited to toss the coin, they are doing so by invitation and as a recognition of their love of the sport, or a club. It is a tradition that should be celebrated. McGuire apologized, unreservedly, to the Sydney Swans ambassador at halftime of the Fox footy broadcast. It had nothing to do with Cynthia Banham, who was the coin tosser tonight at the SCG and has a disability, the Collingwood president said, I just want to apologize if this was communicated in the wrong way, I did not mean to offend anyone, especially Cynthia, and I apologize unreservedly to her, her family and friends, Swan supporters and anybody watching tonight who took it that way. My apologies there, for that comment, copyright 9 Digital Tie Limited 2019.